And it's official. Kalen DeBoer is leaving Fresno State football after two seasons as head coach. He will now be the head football coach at the University of Washington. A Fox 26 sports reporter Vanessa Romo is live at Bulldog Stadium with how it all went down. I know, Vanessa, you were even there trying to talk to some of the players after they had just been told the information tonight as well. Yeah, it started off as just rumors. Then we heard of a private plane touching down from Seattle. Hours later, players were called here for a team meeting, some with their heads hung low, awaiting confirmation. Let's go get a coach. In front of the University of Washington's athletic director, Jen Cohen, Kalen DeBoer signed on the dotted line. Here we go. It's official. <laughs> go, dogs. go dogs. Becoming the 30th head coach in Husky football history and the shortest tenured coach at Fresno State since 1949. After this morning's signing, players made their way to Fresno State for the official word. It was very quiet, um, but at the same time, I know there's been a lot of rumors, so it wasn't necessarily like it was the first time they're actually just hearing about a uh, coach and, you know, rumor to, to Washington, but um, they're quiet. In a statement released by Fresno State Athletic Director Terry Toomey, he said, quote, We did all that we could to keep Coach and his family in Fresno, but we understand that this is an incredible opportunity for them. He also added running backs coach Lee Marks will take over as interim head coach and lead the team in the upcoming bowl game as they move swiftly and diligently in their search for a new head coach. That was my first time seeing Coach since um, our game on Thursday. And um, haven't had a, you know, an opportunity to talk to him about some things that he you know, was planning for the bowl game and some preparation because you still want to have some consistency of what we're doing. It's not where I'm going to come in here and just try to like, we're going to do it my way. DeBoer led the dogs to a 9-3 and season, two of those wins over ranked teams, all in his second season following a 3-3 three and -three COVID year. Now the question is, will coaches follow? As far as just anyone else goes, you know, we haven't had those conversations, and um, and I know that's kind of, you know, probably their business, you know, as well. And um, you know, just the one thing that I ask from all our coaches is that we make sure that we send these kids out the right way, and we make sure we communicate number one, and they know that we we care. Jake Hayner is also a player in question. The quarterback transferred from Washington and has one more year of eligibility. But despite the possible domino effect, Marks has one message to the Red Wave. I stick behind these players because they need you. And it's extremely important that uh, we never lose sight of that. And it's bigger than just one man for a football program or a coach or, or those things. I mean, this is about a university that is coming together and uh, we're trying to finish the right way and do some special things. Coming up next, Ralph Wood will talk about the top candidate looking to take over for the Bulldogs. In Fresno, Vanessa Romo, Fox 26 Sports. Okay, Vanessa, you were at the game in San Jose on Thanksgiving. Was there any inkling? Did you get a feeling at the time that, you know, this might be his last game as the Fresno State coach? Uh, no, I had no inkling whatsoever, but you know, you never know when it will be the last. So you got to really take in those games, not take them for granted, but what a good game to end it on. We got the Valley Trophy back. It was like a blowout, 40 to 9. I mean, what a great game to kind of end on for Kalen DeBoer and his team. I mean, looking forward to a bowl game now. All right, and we will see more about that later. Thank you so much, Vanessa. And as she mentioned, Ralph will have the talk about all the top candidates to take over the Bulldogs and also figuring out what else is next for the team. Can't wait to hear that. Yeah.